right, our very first section is gonna start with a little bit of review and then a little bit of new stuff in it. So a good combo there. So this title is polynomials, and polynomials, just to kind of give you an idea where we're going with, a polynomial is any um, algebra equation where we might have some x's and x squareds and x cubed, so different exponents with our variables. So you can see some examples down there in example one, example two, we got some x squared, some x's, and just some plain numbers. So for these first two examples, what we need to do is combine our like terms. So if we look at these, like terms are gonna go with the variables. So we've got a negative seven X plus a four X. So negative seven plus four is three X squared. Then we've got a negative five X minus 10 X for negative 15 X. And last, we've got a 10 minus two, that gives me a positive eight. So my final answer is just that polynomial right there um, that I've combined the terms for. Now example two here, this is the one that gives people, it's so tempting to jump right in and do exactly what I did in example one, but there's a big difference and that's because there is a negative sign right here. So this is subtraction. So before I do the combining the like terms, I'm gonna distribute this subtraction sign to all three terms. And this is gonna get really important when I look at some of these new topics down below. So this second set of parentheses would become negative 10x squared plus 2x plus five. And then I'm not gonna change anything to the first set of parentheses. Actually, I'm gonna come in here, boop. I'm gonna make it look like my other one up above. So now it looks like the one I had before. Up in example one, I had a positive and now I've got a positive here. I did that because I distribute that negative. I went, changed the sign for all three of the terms that were in the second set of parentheses. You gotta do it to all three or it doesn't work out. Now I can combine my like terms just like I did up above. So I've got a 2x squared and a negative 10x squared. That's gonna give me negative 8x squared. I've got a 5x and a 2x to give me 7x. And I've got a negative 11 plus five to give me negative six to get that simplified polynomial down that I've got boxed in. So we're gonna to have to use these concepts, this kind of review concepts of like terms for these new concepts down below. So these ideas of revenue, cost, and profit have to do with money, so are applicable to people that, you know, that are in that college of business. So we're gonna make polynomials that actually have meaning to them besides just those ones up top with random X's. Instead of just being random, now we're gonna be talking about making money. So revenue, cost, and profit. So we've got kind of the definitions up there and I'm gonna work it with an example down below. So in this example, we need to find all three. We're supposed to find the revenue, cost, and profit. So I'm gonna start with the revenue. Up above in my directions, I said the revenue is the price per item times the number of items sold. So I've told you the price per item is 15. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna call this R for revenue. So it's gonna be 15 and we are selling X thousand. So I'm gonna write that as 1000 X. I'm gonna multiply times 1000 X. So that is gonna give me the revenue is 15,000 X. Now I'm gonna make, do my cost polynomial, my cost equation. For the cost, it is the fixed cost plus the variable cost. Well, I've told you both of these. So the cost, I'm gonna call it C, is gonna be the fixed cost plus the variable cost. And that's gonna be my answer for the cost function. I'll box in my answer for the revenue as well. And then last, we have the profit. And this is why we needed to do the review we did up above. The profit is the revenue minus the cost. So we're gonna do that subtraction. And notice I did put the cost in parentheses. That's important. 
I put it there for a reason, don't skip it. So I'm gonna have my revenue, so 15,000 X, and then it's gonna be minus the cost, and I'm gonna put that cost polynomial in those parentheses. That's important because when I go to distribute, it needs to go to both terms. And then just like we did up above, I'm gonna combine my like terms, so the ones that have X's there, to get my final answer for profit. The profit is equal to 13,100X minus 35,000. So let's look at another one of these, um, revenue, cost, and profit. I'm gonna keep using my same idea for those on this next example.